I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to work with links in general. Uh, links are extremely important uh, when building anything on top of Microsoft SharePoint because SharePoint is a web-based application and everything on the web depends on works by links, hyperlinks, URLs. Hover on my mouse here over something that's clickable, you'll see on the lower left corner of my screen that there's a, a little mouse um, tip there showing me the URL that I'll be going to. Same thing when I click down here. I'm going to make that a little bit more visible by pressing my Alt key on the keyboard and going into View Toolbars and show the status bar and that becomes visible all the time there. Link. You can right click on the link and copy that shortcut. So if you want to insert your link in an email anywhere, you can just copy the shortcut. This actually is a bunch of links also, and you can build your own link gallery like this. And I'll show you how to do that in a later demo. But first I'm going to show you just how to create your own link. I'm going to go in and edit this page right there. Um, and I'm just going to remove this whole thing here. And then to insert a link, you just go on the Insert tab here, click on Link, and then you have two alternatives. Either you can add a link from SharePoint, and when you add a link from SharePoint, that's within this site collection. Let me show you that. I'm just going to click on Link. Here you see I have my whole site collection here with the, the three sub-sites, Finance, HR, and IT, so I can link from anywhere within that site collection. If I want to create a link to something outside of this current site collection, then I need to copy the link as I showed you before and I have the address instead. If I want to link to something in the IT, let's see the IT document. So now this link here points to the shared documents in the IT site. Now I'm just going to go ahead and save that. When you copy an address, say they want to um, insert a link to another website, such as the Kalmstrom.com website. Maybe the product page on the Kalmstrom.com website. You can just right click that and copy the shortcut. And then you go into finance, edit the page again, and then just add a link. to an address. There we go. Camtron.com products. And usually when you do that, then you want to make that open in a new tab. And uh, you might want to display an icon too. This description here, that uh, is the hover over description that you get. I'm just going to write products there. And I'm going to save the page. And you see I have product as a, as a hover tip there. Now when I click that, it opens up in a new window as I specified. So that is a very brief overview of what links can do for you in SharePoint. I'll expand this series with more demonstrations. Thank you for watching this one.